it gives me great pleasure to be a part of this program tonight. On the field behind me stand many great people, people that have traveled to Bonnell Field from all over the country just to be a part of this awesome remembrance and celebration. Our theme tonight is the 30th anniversary of the undefeated 1991 state championship football team. But it's more than that. It's the bonds that are formed and the memories that are made. It's the bonds that are formed and the memories that are made being a part of our wonderful Caldwell Chiefs family. With us tonight are former players, cheerleaders, and coaches involved in this fabulous team. I was fortunate enough to be a young coach for the Chiefs in 1991. We won games that we weren't supposed to win, we made plays that nobody could believe we made, and we won a championship that they said we couldn't win. It's been 30 years, and behind me stand some of those that were a huge part of this lifelong memory. We would be remiss, however, if we didn't take a moment to remember some of those that are no longer with us. With that, I'd like to introduce Mike Masella, who was the sophomore quarterback on that 1991 team. 30 years ago, on this field, Bonnell Field, 30 years ago, we had our march to our state championship, 1991, when big hair, Z Cavariccis were the thing. Big tails, girlfriends wearing football players' varsity jackets off the shoulder. This is the team that brought Scott Dancy's pasta party to a weekly tradition, and it still stands today. This is the team that started the Tomahawk Shop. Before we all had kids, before we got fat and had all this responsibility. Just a bunch of kids, we just went 11 and 0. We had a small hiccup along the way with the seven to nothing win over Milburn. Then the most miraculous comeback against Del Barton. Thanks to Jason Italiano's hard hit and fumble recovery. Then a Masella to Masella miracle for the winning touchdown to beat Del Barton at Del Barton. <laughs> then the showdown versus one of the County's top teams, the Orange Tornadoes. Mike Palante outshined Terrell Willis that night. was in Essex County. Our 91 team had a fight and a will to never give up. We knew we had to go undefeated to make the playoffs, and we did. We, are, we earned home seed throughout the playoffs. Our first game here again at Bonnell Field. Vinny Bono ran wild this time. The defense held Summit to zero points and the Chiefs were victorious and moved on to the state championship at Dover. The state championship for Dover was a back and forth battle. A halftime speech by New York Giants Stephen Baker was to no avail as Dover returned the second half kick for a touchdown. The Chiefs were down but never out. Like many of our games that year, it came down to a strong defense and a ground and pound attitude. Led by our horse, Mike Palante. Palante carried us on his back with 23 touchdowns. 
One defender for Dover was now fooled. Palante spun on contact and reached for the end zone. Touchdown. We were state champs on TV3 in front of the best fans in New Jersey high school football. We want to thank all the JCHS. Our most amazing cheerleaders who are here tonight. Our fans, our coaches, by us celebrating today, we honor those who are no longer with us. Our, new, our newest member of Legends Park, Coach Andy Durbro. Our trainer, Jill McFarland. Videographer, Mark Collins. Offensive lineman, Anthony Monaco. Offensive lineman, Kevin Collis, we never forget. And of course, Mike Palante. That 91 season smells a lot like 2001. I want to thank everybody, my former teammates, a brotherhood forever and ever, to the Palante family, to Megan, to the girls for coming up. And always, brothers and sisters, love you guys from the bottom of our heart. Thank you. Once achieved. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Two weeks ago, we celebrated the head coach of this team, Andy Durbro. Tonight, we celebrate the team and all those a part of it. When we say, once a chief, always a chief, this is what we mean. Yes. <coughs> Thank you. I am so proud of our tradition and can only hope that with the help of all, we can celebrate the chiefs for many years to come. Thank you all.